Hi everyone and happy Monday, happy nail of the week. Excited to share another beautiful summer look with you guys. And I love the way this one turned out. It's super tropical, but in a totally different way. Stay tuned. Welcome everyone, great to see you and great to be back in doing another Nail of the Week design again for the summer. And like I was saying, I love how this gave me a tropical feel. Now a lot of times when you think of tropical, you think of flowers, but wait till you see this one. Let's look right now. Aren't those amazing, so cool, so awesome, so tropical-like. It reminded me of a tropical drink. And it doesn't even have to be an alcohol drink. It could be a, you know, a, a child's drink, a virgin drink, a pina colada, just something with the yellows and the oranges. And I love the little lemon, orange, and lime females I put on there. I love them, you guys. I think they are stunning and gorgeous and the gold running through it. I got a lot of compliments already on them. Um, I'm dressed for church. I had went to church today. Love church day. Love Sunday. Uh, just love being in the house of the Lord. And I will be returning back this evening. So we got an, evang an evangelist coming in. I've already seen him. He's wonderful. He travels all over the world. He's awesome, so I can't wait to see what he has to preach on tonight. He's just always on fire. But yeah, I that's why I'm dressed up. So, But anyways, at church, I got a lot of compliments. Got a lot of compliments since I did the nails. People just love them. They're so bright and bold and definitely a tropical feel. Now, before we go on, let's go ahead and read our prayers and promises. So we are on substance. The first one is 2 Corinthians 9.8. God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Whew, love that, don't you? God is able to bless you abundantly, and he is. Let him do it. The next one is Ephesians 3, 14 through 19. I fall to my knees and pray to you, or to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ through it is too great to understand fully. Um, I mean, may experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Wow, you guys, write that verse down, those verses. Ephesians 3, uh, 3 14 through 19, definitely write that down. What a, you know, wonderful Bible verses, how it just talks about his love. I mean, it is a love that is hard for us to even understand. You know, we love our children, but we can never love even our children or our mates or our families as much as God loves us. To send his only son to die for us was proof. And that's something big we talked on today of Christ being crucified and all of that. And the crucifixion was just like I said, horrific. Definitely look up crucifixion, how horrible it is. As the uh, pastor was preaching today on that, I was crying. Like, it's just amazing what the Lord did for us. It should have been us hanging on that cross, not Jesus, who walked this earth perfect. But he was put into Mary, the Virgin Mary, and brought to this earth to die for our sins at the age of 33. He died on the cross for us and rose again three days later. And now we you know, even though we commit sin, we fall short of the glory of God daily. And if you say you don't, well, you're wrong. We all do. Uh, every one of us, even if it's something small, we all fall short of, of the glory. And we are to carry our own burdens, our own crosses as well. But for him doing that, we have eternal life if you believe that. And that's just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. But what he went through, yeah, crucifixion is bad. And of course, he was even crucified worse than anybody was ever crucified. Jesus was very much crucified horrendous, horribly, his skin was ripped out of his body. I mean, they said that he, like, he was almost unrecognizable and stuff like that. So yeah, you guys, this is what he did for us. 
the other side says, because of you, I lack nothing. You're, um, you sustain me with your goodness. You have blessed me richly and I have everything I need. Your limitless love is beyond my comprehension and is enough to sustain me through anything. The substance you offer restores my soul and reminds me that you are in control. He is in control, you guys. He is the King of King and Lord of Lords. He's still in control of our world. As I spend time with you, I am filled with your love. My strength returns and my mind is at peace again. And I love that I do spend quality alone time with him and I, I get that peaceness. I love what he can do for you. God is truly amazing. You know, when you turn to him and spend that quality of you know, time alone with him and just pray to him, I mean, he will just overflow you with love and, and just make you feel warm inside and just good. And, you know, maybe being a Christian doesn't mean that your whole life is going to turn around and it's going to be the best life you ever lived. It'll still be hard, but... It won't, it won't be like it is if you're not a Christian. You definitely will live a happier life, having God in your life. How do you get substance from God? I do by just everything he does for me, everything he shows me, everything that he brings to the table every, you know, every single day for me, waking me up, keeping me safe from this virus, um, just helping me with problems when I ask him to help me with it, when I ask him to take things, my anxiety, so that he takes it, just Everything that God, I, I mean, I could go on and on and on, just everything he does. The sunshine, the beautiful rain we get, the beautiful snow, everything he does for us. You know, I am just so satisfied with my good Lord and having him in my heart and knowing I have a place in heaven. Yeah, that I would say, how do you get your substance from God? And I would say, that's how I do, reading scripture. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with life's manual, the Holy Bible. Again, I'll say it again, like I always do. Nothing will teach you more than this Bible right here will teach you. This Life's Manual book. Read it. Study it. Spend quality of time alone with him. Get on your knees the old-fashioned way. We should only need to the Lord. That's the only person we should bow to and kneel to. So get on your knees. Pray to him. Ask him to help you in your life. Get right with him. You know, things in your life will totally change. I was with the ladies yesterday. We had a ladies' day. And uh, my pastor was reading on 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17. And he, here it says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable by doctrine. Now we want to start with what's right. And this is what happened to my life, why my life changed. First off, I had to know what was right. For reproof, what's not right in my life. For correction, how to get right in my life. And for instruction in righteousness, how to stay right. And I did all of these things. And it says, why do I need this? That the man of God may be perfect through thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And I did all of this, you guys. I did everything that it said here. And that's why my life changed. I realized I needed to, you know, make a big change in my life. And I did make a change in yours. If you want to know that again, if you want to read on it, it was 2 uh, Timothy 3, 16 through 17. Uh, but this was just what she had wrote down, some analogies. But definitely that's what made my life better was doing everything right there. All those steps is what made my life better. And it can make yours better too. Definitely get right with God. Get ready because Jesus is returning soon. And we want to go with them. We won't. Don't want to be left behind. I truly apologize for not uploading another uh, video on um, Revelations. I, I intended to do that, but I wanted to go over with the pastor on a few things and just make sure that the second one I read, I'm saying everything right. So I'll be ready for next Sunday for you guys on that. Definitely tune into that. You, you won't want to miss that. So anyways, let's go on to this nail design. I always talk so much about God, but I just can't stop. I love him. I love him so much. So anyways, this tropical, beautiful look that reminds me of a tropical fun drink that you would drink on the tropical islands. I hope you guys enjoy it. Definitely uh, check this out. There'll be a toe design to match. And as always, a awesome Fashion Friday that I'm going to put with this to bring the whole ensemble together. I hope you guys will enjoy that. If you're new to my channel, right there is the red subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell underneath it so you're notified of all of my new uploads. Share around my channel so I can grow bigger and bigger and help many people with their faith, help many people with doing nail art and fashion and the ketogenic diet. I do link my email down below if you need extra help or you just want to know how to ask the Lord into your heart. I can help you with that too. And also, if you enjoyed those Bible verses, you enjoy the love that God gives us, what Jesus did for us on the cross and just, you know, Love the preachings, or not really preachings, but the readings that I do to you guys, or that I say to you guys, shoot me a thumbs up. And you just, if you love having and seeing me come on, shoot me a thumbs up as well. Let's get started on today's design. Everybody take care, God bless, and I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Let's get on to this tropical drink look.
Hi everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's summer look. A beautiful no water marble along with accent nails with the little femos with the orange lemon and lime and gold glitter. We're trying to shoot for a tropical drink look. Stay tuned to see how I did this one. Hi everyone and welcome back to Nail of the Week. Getting ready to do another beautiful bright summer look. We're going to be doing a marbling look and I'm shooting for a tropical look. Since the last look I did made me feel and everybody else like it was more tropical until you got to see the Fashion Friday. I was doing more of a salsa type uh, kind of, uh, you know, just like a dancer type. And I just love the way it turned out. But I really want the feel of a tropical feel. So we're going to do some marbling with these bright, beautiful colors. And it definitely gives me the feel just looking at these colors here of a tropical look. So let me show you what I'm using in today's design. So first off, I went over everything with white. When you're working with bright colors like this, and they were very um, transparent, the two colors I'll show you. I started with the base of white and I just did a thin coat of white. This one you get from the Dollar Tree. That's the numbers on the back. And then um, I did yellow and it was also by the Kiss, this one here. And there's the, oh, it's called My Color. Beautiful, beautiful summer yellow. And then for the orange, I did this bright neon orange by um, Peppermints and I got this from CVS. And it doesn't have a color, but it's a neon orange. I don't think there is a color here. No, these don't have colors or names. So, But it's a neon and it glows in the dark. It's beautiful, but very transparent, both of them. And then what I'm going to do is, oh, I dried everything up then with the Sesame Dry Fast Top Coat before I go ahead and begin. So when I do the art, if I mess up, um, well, on this one, I would have to take it off because I'm working with polish. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to use this one, the white one. This light lemon yellow, which is called Mellowy, and the orange. I'm going to be swirling with those four colors through the yellow. I'm going to leave the orange one orange. And I actually made myself a Northern Lights in gold. Here's the silver version. There it is there. You have to shake it up. It says right on the bottom. i got to shake it up every time. And it's a beautiful holographic top coat, which I still top coat with it. I got this from Sally's. I can never find the gold. They do have it online. Um but it's a little bit spendy. So I made my own. I wanted to see if it would work. It's right here and it worked. Look at it all settled at the bottom, just like the Northern Lights. And what I did was use a micro glitter, this gold here that I got from Joanne Fabrics. And I did about an eighth teaspoon and I did an eighth teaspoon. Let me show you, I gotta grab it here. An eighth teaspoon of this one here I got from CVS. So it also had that holographic uh, feel to it. So if I was doing just a silver, this would be the one, but because I wanted it to be gold, I mixed it like that. You see the bottom, I gave it that holographic. Isn't that beautiful? So I made my own Northern Lights and I've already tried it. Works out great. I'm going to go over the orange now with that. And then um, I'll top everything off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat when I'm done. But I am going to run through the ones that I'm marbling with this gold here. Just, you know, because when you're marbling, you like to have a little bit of gold. And I'm going to use this here, the textile medium. Got the idea from Robin Moses. I'm going to mix that with my glitter. That way it stays in the palette longer. It, um, it's kind of a creamy white. When it dries, you just see the glitter. So that's what I'm going to do. And then, because um, I just love, you know, running glitter through marbling looks. They always look great with the glitter. And then I will top everything off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. And we'll keep it all in the gold theme since it's yellow and orange. So I am going to get started on some of the marbling and I will return to show you what I'm doing. Okay, I'm back and aren't these so tropical looking? The colors are amazing. Reminds me of a tropical drink, you know, doesn't have to be alcohol, but just a tropical drink, just something very tropical because of the colors. I love it. And you just aren't getting the gesture on here. Hopefully the photos will capture it really good. But anyways, let me show you how I'm doing it. There's the thumbs, so beautiful. All right, so I'm starting off with this. I'm using this as a base. It's just a clear coat. I'm going to just put a nice thick coat of that. And I don't know if it's a base or a top coat. I think that is a top coat, but it doesn't dry as fast. But you got to work fast. Then we're going to go with that bright yellow, even though you don't really see it. Just put two dots of that. Then the light lemon yellow. Do three dots of that. And then the orange. You want quite a lot of dots of these because it's so transparent 
that you want this to really pop and stand out. So really get the orange around, okay? And then the last color will be the white, and you just need a couple little dots of the white around, just small little dots of that. Okay, then wipe the white, you know, the white brush off for that one because you don't want um, the color getting into the white. All right, then just take your brush. Whoops, make sure I got the hair off of it. Okay, and then just go like this and start swirling. There's no wrong or right way of doing this, just however you play around. But remember, as it's drying, it dries pretty quick. The colors, you want to go pretty fast, okay, to get this done. And don't worry if it seems lumpy and bumpy. It will smooth down. Everything will smooth down, especially when you put the top coat on. But look at that. Come on, isn't that gorgeous, you guys? The colors are phenomenal. Definitely a tropical feel here. Now, of course, everybody would think when you're doing tropical, you would do flowers. But I wanted something different because I just did flowers. So I wanted something different. And I love marbling with, you know, this is a no water marble. I was going to do it. I was going to do a scoop um, look for marbling. I'll show you that sometime. I was also going to do a smushy Marbling, I'll show you that sometime. There's so many different ways to uh, water marble. But now we've got this, so now we're going to add in the gold. I'm going to mix up the gold, get some done, and I will return. Okay, real quick, I just want to show you mixing the glitter. So I've got some of the glitter laid out and some of the um, textile medium. I'm going to add a little bit more. Do it to the side. And yes, my palette there is pretty dirty. Sorry about that. Um, and then you just want to take and mix it. Okay, just mix the glitter in like that, and however much you think you feel you need, just mix it in to this textile medium. You can just pull some more in like that. And that's how you want to mix your glitter, is just like that. And make sure you get enough in there so you can see it. And of course, when it's done, then, um, uh, you know, you'll be able to tell if you need a little more glitter or not. That seems pretty good right there, so I'm going to go ahead and work with that. I'm going to get some done, and I will return. Okay, now I've got that gold running through it. And it's not all the way dry yet, but isn't that pretty with the gold? Love it, love it. All right, let's draw in. And there's no wrong or, you know, wrong way to do this. You just dip into your palette that I've made right here. I'm just gonna dip into it, get some glitter on the end there. And just wherever you feel fit, you can just add your glitter. And you see it kind of is a milky color at first but it will dry gold and just be gold. You won't have the white in there. And just wherever you feel you wanna add it. And then it's gonna dry out like the other ones. It's gonna be so pretty, especially when you add that top coat. So let's set this aside. And there you go, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Oh my goodness. Now we've gotta add the Northern Lights to the orange nails, the ones I made. I'm gonna get one done and I will return. Okay, look at that, you guys. I perfectly made Northern Lights in a gold version on that orange nail. You see that? Gorgeous. And look at when it shook up. Look at that. It's got that holographic, but it's gold. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and paint this nail. And it was just a clear polish. That was the one from Dollar Tree. I just used their clear polish. And I added, like I said, an eighth teaspoon of the gold, but it has to be a micro glitter because that's what Northern Lights is all about, that I can go over designs and not cover designs up. So it needs to be a micro. I used an eighth uh, teaspoon of the gold and an eighth teaspoon of that uh, holographic color. But look at this, you guys. Isn't that Northern Lights? Beautiful done in the gold. I love it. All right. Now, we need to top coat everything with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat, and then I will return to show all of you guys the end product. Okay, I decided to do one more thing. I decided to add in these little femal fruits. It's a lemon, an orange, and a lime, just to give it that feel of a tropical drink. So let me show you. I have a whole bunch of them here. I got strawberries, bananas, kiwis, all of that. But I thought I would do just a lime, a uh, lemon, and an orange slice. So I've got them laid out here, and I'm gonna glue those down. So we're just gonna grab a little bit of glue on a cap, and we're just gonna put it down into the corner here. I just think it was a cute idea, just because since I'm trying to do a tropical look without flowers, I wanted to have that tropical feel. So I thought that would be really good to add in the little uh, fruits. So we'll just go like this, and we'll grab the orange, and we'll set that right there. Let me draw in for you guys. And then we'll grab the little lemon. Whoops. They're so cute because they really look like real little fruits. And then we'll grab the little lime too. Even though 
the color didn't have any green, I thought it would look cute to have a little lime in there. If I can pick this up and just add it right there. And then you just push them down into the glue there. But isn't that so cute and tropical looking? I mean, you can't get any more tropical with this one. Again, you don't have to have flowers to have a tropical look. I love it. I think it's adorable with the little ne uh, female fruits. So now I'm going to go over the top of it with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast, and I'll come in and show you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done. And for some reason, in this video, and you'll see also in my toe video, my fingers look purple. Everywhere I go in the house, the lighting is just, I don't know what it is doing this time. Must be my tan. I'm getting more tan. And then the lighting is just making me look like I'm purple. I am not purple, you guys. I am definitely brown. But for some reason, it's looking funny in the video. The photos look great, though. You'll see the photos. But isn't this phenomenal? I wanted a tropical look since the last one I did. Everybody gave that, you know, got that feel of tropical. So did I because of the flowers. So I thought, I'm going to do a tropical look, but we're going to, you know, spice it up a bit and do something different than flowers. Let's do something that looks like a tropical drink. And then we've got the little accent nails with the little orange, lime, and lemon females. Aren't those cute? And then I also made, you'll see in the video, I made a Northern Lights done in gold because I wasn't able to find that one. So I made my own and it turned out perfect. Look at it on those accent nails. Isn't that gorgeous? Love the way this one turned out. I can't wait for you guys to see the toe design that matches along with my purple toes and my purple fingers. Um, no, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Definitely give it a try. No water marbling is so much fun. And like I said, stay tuned for the toes for Wednesday and Fashion Friday's outfit of the day, which I can't wait to share with you guys. And also, I can't wait to share the shoes I chose to go with Fashion Friday. Everybody take care, God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.